بس واحد ابرة عشرين اوكي ده نخبه اخر So, our patient is still not standing. Um, I hope things will uh, be different by tomorrow. Um, I checked the legs, all the extremities. Well, uh, thankfully, there's no uh, presence of uh, edema. So, we don't want that. And there's no presence of ticks as well. So um, that's also a good thing. Um, if the animal, given that uh, he's, she's sitting inside the farm, she may get infested already by uh, ticks. But thankfully, she's sitting outside, and uh, yeah, there's no, no, not ticks or no ticks in here. So we'll see her again tomorrow. Bye for now. All right, so guys, this is um, the complex amino acid and the B complex uh, combination that we are giving now. And this is um, the eighth day of our uh, visit for this uh, camel. Well, uh, she walked uh, farther than uh, the last time, probably about um, 500. Um, well, I saw this medicine today in the clinic and I thought that uh, the first thing that came to mind was to give it to this camp. So uh, again, like I said, it's complex classes and uh, complex combination. Hopefully, uh, this will uh, um, help this animal and give, give her something um, to uh, boost her energy so that she would, uh, you know, she would stand again. Uh, it has been a while since uh, she sat and you know ran around. Still, the feces um, they are not the normal size, so uh, it's not a good indication of uh, that the animal is feeding. Well, anyway, with the help of this medicine, hopefully she'll uh, she'll feed uh, well. What's up guys? Um, it is uh, Monday 
and we are back to visit our uh, recumbent um, patient, our downer camel. So, you notice something different? So she, she's already inside the perimeter of the farm. She was uh, out there last time. So uh, she stood up with the help of uh, the farmer, but uh, again, she's sitting down. So what do you think guys? Is that a good thing or what? But uh, yeah, to me, I mean, what I want to see is uh, for her to be walking around like normal, you know, sitting down normally, normally, standing up normally. But uh, well, he's, she's eating normally, so n nothing uh, to be worried about uh, when it comes to her appetite. So, uh, well, good thing she's uh, able to stand up. But what we want is to see her already, you know, um, like the other camels, uh, she can uh, stand and uh, sit whenever she wants. Anyway, um, we'll get there. So for now, we'll ha we just have to be patient and, um, you know, continue the treatment that we're giving her to uh, help her recover faster. So for now, we'll, uh, with the help of our uh, friend here, the farmer, will uh, help her and try to, uh, um, you know, get her on her feet. We'll see if uh, she'll, uh, she'll be able to stand. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. I don't know what, uh, what the procedure is, but uh, we'll uh, check. Ah, it's a little Okay, this. Familiar to you? She's the one uh, that's been uh, down for uh, 11 days, so 11 days or more. But uh, we've been uh, visiting her for the last 11, uh, 12 days, and she's still a little limp on the right side. But uh, an update: she's uh, already feeding well, so she gained a little weight and uh, she's ruminating already she started ruminating again uh, it wasn't uh, there before when we uh, first visited her so uh, she's able to stand as you can see she's able to walk but uh, she couldn't stand without any help yet but uh, that will progress uh, in the ta in the days to come but for now um, for me here it's time to say goodbye to another uh, patient and I'm happy to report that she is doing well, as you can see. So um, she's now, uh, she doesn't want to be touched anymore. I mean, that's normal. That's because uh, they have their own uh, personal space as well. So uh, from, from uh, me here and from my assistant, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this series of treatment for this uh, camel and i'll see you guys on the next farm and uh, 
hopefully very soon we'll visit her again but uh, for now we'll head on and uh, help some other patients that need our help let's go bye bye